Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about two vintage road wheel makers. One of them is, of course, Spinergy with their Revax wheel, or bladed carbon spokes. And the other one is using injection molding was Aerospoke with their carbon thermoplastic wheels. The first question someone may ask is, which one is better? If you're after lightness and speed, the Spinergy Revex is a lot better. And if you're after toughness, the Aerospoke is. Now in racing, I haven't seen very many Aerospokes at all. I remember one person in track using Aerospoke uh, to good success. But, um, and the other people I know that have used aero spokes for a tad overweight because these things are stiff. They don't flex. They can take a lot of weight on them. And actually, my particular set of aero spokes are for a tandem. Not much difference from the regular one, just a little bit thicker spokes. Um, <clears throat> but I use them all the time now, actually. The Spinergies, of course. <laughs> Now, the mountain bike version, I'll go over this in more detail a little bit later on, but this is actually the second version, the second revision of the aero spoke, and it's related to the location of the bearings, where they had the bearings inside in this area here versus now their outboard versus inboard. Uh, and you'll find those only on the road wheels. I think the mountain bike wheels only had one version, these ones. And I love. I used to race with these all the time. The Aerospoke ones are too heavy to race with, and they, and these carbon blades actually absorb a lot of the shocks in the road, or off road actually. And um, these are great wheels. You can find them on the internet used. You can get them. The Aerospokes, of course, <laughs> they used to be located in. They used to be located in Novi, Michigan. And then they moved to Milford, Michigan. In 2008, they went out of business. And they started up, by, uh, sold the name to a Chinese company. But later on, they started a new business. And we'll go over that in a bit. But if you're ever wondering which ones to get, basically, if, if you're doing gravel riding and general moderate pace riding, like 18 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour at most, and mostly flat. The aero spokes are very nice. I'm actually using these now and probably more than the Revex now, just for general gravel riding. And they'll definitely last forever. Now the Revexes, of course, had a storied <laughs> history. <clears throat> the road ones, not necessarily the mountain bike ones, were known, the first version with the inboard bearings were known to crack around here and later on the outboard bearing ones and both of them still had these issues was in relation to these rivets here if they were cracked here they could just splinter apart and I have another video reviewing that a bit more but which ones look better on the bike I have video of both of these on my bike and you can take a look at it near the end of the video but uh, they both look great of course, Spinergy, after the Revex, they came up with a version with five adjustable blades. I don't know anyone that actually owned one of those wheels. Um, but a lot of people I knew owned the Revexes. And I still use them. <laughs> and I bought them, what, in the 90s? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> but uh, great wheels. If you can snag a pair that's in really good condition off the internet, auction site or whatever, I'd say go ahead. Just make sure there's no cracks around the rivets, whether road or mountain bike. Of course, they're old now and they're, of course, rim brake, so make sure they have a good amount of braking material left on the rims here. But I mean, if you're just doing general road riding, the aero spokes are really good too. So, of course, one of the big differences between these two wheel sets is that the Spinergies, as an example, of course, there are four on either side, 
carbon fiber blade spokes. These ones are like the Spinergy ultralights where they don't have any fiberglass insert on the inside. And what I'm talking about, let me bring it up close, is the road wheels. Take that look at the inside. You'll see a bulge in the inside of the each blade of spoke. And that bulge contains fiberglass, if I recall. The original Spinergies, if you notice these bearings, they're on the outside of the blades. These bearings are actually on the inside of the blades. And many times they had, a lot of times the blades would fracture around here. This design is a little bit better. So this is the second generation design they had here. And on the road wheels, the second generation, they had three variants after a short time. They had the lights, which I believe had yellow stickers on them. There was the standards, which had blue stickers on them. And the reds were the heavy duty ones. And the heavy duty ones came with the X-Wing pre-installed right in here, which helped to keep the blades a little bit stiffer. And because of the design of this, it lets the blades take away and absorb some of those bumps. So I used this a lot when I was racing back in the, in the late 90s, early 2000s. And I tried the aero spokes once. I didn't actually race on it, just took it out testing. And oh my God, that thing was so stiff. <laughs> I mean, it just was too stiff. And these ones are actually, um, I took them to aero spoke. They were out here in Novi at one time. Then they moved to Milford, I believe. But when they were at Novi, I took them to their place and I swapped regular MTB set and replaced it with the tandem version because I also have a mountain bike tandem. Here's a quick picture of my tandem with the aero spokes on it. It looks really, really cool to me. Which I may, hopefully will be selling soon. And these are the tandem version of them. And um, they're really, really stiff. The, the regular ones are really, really stiff too, but, uh, and they also weigh more. But we're gonna find out how much they actually weigh. <clears throat> Anyways, like I was mentioning, the Spinergies, the mountain bike ones, there's only one version of it. The road ones in the end, there's three versions of it. Yellow, blue, and red stickers meant for light, uh, normal, and heavy duty. Heavy duty's had the X-wings in it. And when you look at the road ones, you'll see inside the blades bulges. And I believe the light ones didn't have a bulge, I can't remember. But the standard and heavy duty ones did. And inside that bulge was fiberglass to stiffen up the blade. Well, let's take a quick look at the weight of these wheels compared to each other. Now, each of these wheels have the same tire on them. Continental Double Fighter 1.9s, which I use basically for, as my gravel tire. So they both have the same tires on them. Inner tubes are about the same. This one has the original Spinergy valve extender on it. It allows you to tighten and loosen the original Presta valve on the inside with this. Try to get this balanced a bit. Kilograms is 1.872 kilograms, 4.2.1 pounds, 1,872 grams. Let's go to the arrow spoke now. Quite a bit heavier just holding it here. <laughs> Trying to balance it. Pretty good bearings in it, I know that much. So 2.34 kilograms. 5.3 pounds. Trying to kind of hold it up and balance it. 5.3 pounds. Grams is 2,350, basically. So quite a bit heavier, and that's just the front wheel. You can feel the mass in this thing. It's, it's just incredible. So 
a really heavy wheel. There's a lot. Of, this is not carbon fiber, at least not this this version. It's like carbon thermoplastic. And these, each spoke is actually arrow shaped, more like a, I think it's a knockout shape. It's smoother up here and there's a bulge right here. You can probably see where the bulge is right here. And then it thins out a little bit here. Not much, but just a little bit. So they're unidirectional wheels, but man, they are really heavy. You really notice that they're fine on for gravel riding, but they just uh, off road really wears you down in the weight, especially uphill. So. Now, even though Spinergy no longer makes this wheel, you can only get an aftermarket. Aero spokes are kind of a different story. In I believe it was 2008. Uh, that was during the financial crisis. They couldn't make ends meet, and they closed shop. I believe they were in Milford at the time, Milford, Michigan. And they sold the name off to a Chinese company. You can actually find Aerospoke and like Alibaba and stuff like that. But I remember reading years ago that especially the hub quality wasn't anywhere as good, and you don't see them very much anymore. But the owner of one of the owners of Aerospoke actually created a new company, and we're going to take a look at their new website. It's not under the Aerospoke name. We're going to look at their new website and take a look and see what they offer because they are still around, not under Aerospoke anymore, but they're still around. We're going to take a quick look at that now. So first about Spinergy. Spinergy, of course, still exists today. They don't have any interesting designs anymore, like the RevX and the model after that. And they also came out with a fiber um, spoke wheel years ago, and they still have it today. And there's now a newer fiber spoke wheel out there. A lot of tension. It takes away, you know, a lot of impacts on the road, too. Never tried them myself, but they're out there. And they have more regular looking wheels, of course, nowadays with interesting spoke patterns. But Spinergy still exists. You can get wheels, both gravel mountain and road wheels for them. In any ways, they also do wheelchair wheels too. So they're still out there. Now, Aerospoke is a interesting organization nowadays. The Aerospoke actually has a Facebook page, but I noticed years and years ago, hasn't had a posting since, uh, as you see here, 2020. And then beyond that, 2018. And if you go to their official website, which is aerospoke.co, it will say maintenance mode is on. And it's been that way for as long as I can remember. But as I mentioned before, Aerospoke used to be located in Milf in Aerospoke used to be located in Novi, Michigan. They moved to Milford, Michigan. In 2008-2009, they closed shops, sold the company to a Chinese company, which you can find these in Alibaba. Well, now I can't easily find uh, Aerospoke wheels. There used to be a ton of them in Alibaba. Then when I checked a couple weeks ago, there was only one for sale, and now I can't find anything. But they had a Facebook page. They had a web page. But... Encore is the name of the new Aerospoke. Let's go to the facts right now. Where are the wheels made? Facilities in Michigan. And says we've been building this type of wheel for over 30 years. Are they made of carbon fiber? Carbon fiber composite material with high concentration of carbon fiber and are injection molded. So they're not formed the normal way as carbon fiber would be formed. And as I mentioned, this is really basically a carbon thermoplastic because it's injection molded. And I really, maybe they put a carbon fiber wrap on the outside, I don't know. Because they look like carbon fiber, but they're injection molded, so they're definitely not. And they don't have the uh, weight of the wheels on here. So it would be interesting if they are. Now there's also Ford Motion Technologies, 
which apparently make wheels like this, but now there's a lot of five-spoked wheels out there. Um, but the aero-spoke name lived on Alibaba at least for a while. <laughs> Not there anymore. So Encore Wheels is out there. They don't make as many as they used to. You'll see 700C fixed gear wheels, 700C road wheels, 700C 29 disc brake compatible wheels and twin niner bmx wheels they call it low prices 421 448 you know for the price it's uh pretty good you can get it in multiple colors as you can see here omaha orange but uh so they still exist today if you wanted a set at least in um non 26 inch what I have is the 26 inch variety. So that's a quick rundown of Aerospoke and Encore. <clears throat> Once again, is what do you think about Spinergy? What do you think about Aerospoke? I mean, I love them both. The Aerospoke, I believe, is much more durable and it's a much heavier wheel as. Uh, We'll see in videos but um not too bad on gravel You're using the same tire in both of them and they perform perform equally well just to note that my mountain bike that i'm using these on it has a three stage spring by i ibach in the front fork so that takes away a lot of the uh little road harshness you get and so far i haven't had a problem with them no steep hills or anything, no real off-road bumps or anything, but um, they're both great to me, and I've actually been using the aero spokes. I've been using the aero spokes now on my bike virtually all the time, at least for my 26-inch uh, when I take it around, just cruising around. Uh, it's great for road surfaces that are really bad, like where I live. The concrete here and many of the side roads are really broken up, and these wheels are perfect for it. But it um, <clears throat> should be interesting. What do you think about Aerospoke? Have you ever ridden on them? And as you saw the weights of them, you know, you don't really want to do hill climbs with these things. But uh, nice and sturdy. They look cool on the bike. Actually, I'm going to show a picture. I think I have a picture of my tandem with these wheels on them. I recently sold my tandem, so I can't take any new pictures. But um, I do like these wheels now. It's taken me 30 years to <laughs> kind of start liking them, at least for general use now that I'm not racing anymore. But once again, put some comments down below what you think about them. Have you experienced with the spinners you Revexes, either a mountain bike or road bike back in the day or even today or even aero spoke uh thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video <clears throat> but what do you think about the spinner Revexes? have you ridden these before does a friend of these of yours ride these? Um, do you do any triathlons with them? I know these are these are great wheels as long as there isn't a side wind, um, and they're fast. Of course, do you know anyone that rides an aerospoke? And of course, as I mentioned before in the video, you see the weight difference between these for the front wheels. And uh, these are just holding them. You can definitely tell they have a lot more mass to them. Um, you can tell, looking at mine, that they're not carbon fiber. They're carbon thermoplastic. And they're injection molding. Just as the video says, oh, I just noticed something. There's a little arrow right here, which shows you the direction of travel. Because, as I mentioned, these spokes are not symmetric. There's, you can probably see, let me get the light on this right. You know, see, see right here, this part here is thicker and it's on shifted off to the side. So you got the arrow profile here. <laughs> There's the arrow pointing that way. So I got these. So this would rotate this way on the wheel.
So a great wheel set. I've been using this one a lot more. My uh, general just gravel riding. And at the end of the video right now, I'll show you both of these on a wheel. I'll show you both of these on a bike, just rolling down a gravel road. Uh, they both soak up the bumps very well. And I like them both. Great wheel set. Don't get a thumbs up and share this. And give some comments about what you think about these. And um, actually, what do you think about the tires, too? I actually like these tires. They're a pretty good tread pattern. You can see right there. They actually handle water really well. I don't get any splash back up from water. If it's really thin, it gets pushed aside, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to share this with your friends from the old days for Spinergy and Aerospoke, and we'll see you later.